Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Let's pray from Isaiah 26 verse 3 where the Bible says that God will keep in perfect peace all who trust in him and all whose thoughts are fixed on the Lord. So Father, we honor you for today, Lord. I ask that you please help us. Let our thoughts, our minds, O oh Lord, let our attention be focused on you. And Lord, I ask that you keep us in perfect peace today in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, one of the beautiful things about being God's child is that he guides us, he leads us, and he speaks to us. And you know, this puts us at an advantage. Imagine if God is actually the one that is leading you and guiding you and helping you to take every single decision. You know how your life would have been? So these things are available to God's children, but many times we do not take advantage of the leading or the guidance of the Lord. Many times we don't take advantage of the ability of God to speak to his children. And one of the ways that God speaks to his children is through visions. And today I'm going to be looking at a type of vision called spiritual vision. Now in a spiritual vision, what happens to the individual involved is that his eyes are physically shut. Maybe in prayer or whatever, but his eyes are shut, but then he can still see. He can look in the spirit with his physical eyes shut and he's able to see something in the realm of the spirit. A good example will be in Acts chapter 9 verse 8 when the background to that verse 8 is that Saul who had been going to Christian houses and pulling them out and taking him to jail had an encounter with the Lord Jesus on his route to Damascus and Jesus spoke to him and he had an encounter with the Lord and then in verse 8 the Bible says Saul picked himself up from the ground but when he opened his eyes he saw he was blind now the bible said that Saul opened his eyes meaning that his eyes were shut that means though his physical eyes were shut his spiritual eyes was able to see into the realm of the spirit he saw Jesus and he heard what Jesus said to him so that's a spiritual vision in a spiritual vision your eyes are always shut they are not open because you see into that realm with your spiritual eyes not your physical eyes the two other types of visions which we've discussed in the previous devotional you might want to go back to it if you want to know more about visions but i'll just quickly mention it is there's a closed vision and an open vision in an open vision you're able to see into the realm of the spirit but you'll be aware of your environment you know you're in your house you know you're in the classroom or you know where you're whatever but you're able to see into the realm of the spirit in a trance you are not aware of your environment at that particular moment you don't even know what's going on anymore in the physical environment what you are aware of is what is going on in the spirit i hope that these three visions are clear but i need to bring a strong note of warning concerning visions the devil can give you a vision he can appear some of his demonic agents can appear and the bible tells us that the devil appears as an angel of light so you need to be careful when you're doing anything with the realm of the spirit that's why the bible in first john chapter 4 verse 1 says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirit whether they are of god because many false prophets have gone into the world meaning that you must test or try anything you see or hear in the realm of the spirit that you're seeing a vision or hearing something in the spirit or whatever does not automatically mean that it came from god the bible tells us in first corinthians chapter 14 verse 10 he said there are many voices in the world and none of them is without signification that's how the bible put it there what the bible is trying to say is that there are so many voices there is the voice of god but there are other voices if you do not test the spirits if you are not able to discern properly you might listen to the wrong spirit a lot of people have gotten into very serious problems because they saw something in the realm of the spirit and you can't convince them that that is not God you know and some false religions have started simply because somebody saw the devil looking like an angel of light and was not able to discern properly so one of the things you do whenever you see something is to check it with scripture the bible is a sure way of God speaking to us. So anything that contradicts the word of God means that that thing did not come from the Lord. The source is 
obviously not God. So that's how you read things. Check if whatever it is you are seeing or hearing lines up with scripture. You know, for instance, if somebody appears to you in the realm of the spirit and, you know, starts talking or you start having an experience in the realm of the spirit, always check with the scripture. Can this be found in the scripture? If it can't be found in the scripture, it would be a good idea for you to discard it so that you don't get into trouble. Like many people have gotten into so many problems because they listened to whatever it is they are seeing in the spirit. Either they've had a vision or the devil has come and deceived them and shown them something and they are running with that particular thing. So you want to be careful according to the Bible. You test the spirit to just the spirit to be sure that the source is the Lord. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram all on the handle Oyik's Alfred. That's how I change my world. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Your hey, what hey is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Say, Father, to joy.
Just breathe your name. 